Good afternoon, one and all present. I, Aloka Nanda, on behalf of Carmel Junior College, would like to extend a gracious and a warm welcome to all of you. The Inter-Religious Club was formed in 2020. It aims on a cooperative, constructive and a positive interaction between people of different religious traditions and spiritual beliefs. It promotes understanding between different faiths and forms a major role in the study of religion and peace building. Now, I would like to call Harshwajan Agarwal to introduce the judges. A very good afternoon to everyone. I would like to introduce our judge for the event today, Mr. Mansoor Ali. Mr. Mansoor Ali has an interesting connection with the entertainment world, being the proud father of the eminent director, writer, producer, Mr. Imtiaz Ali, who has directed many blockbuster films such as Jab We Met, Highway, Rockstar, and so on. Mr. Mansoor Ali is a consultant film advisor with a specialization in micro irrigation, water management technology, and water conservation for a professional span of 36 years. One of his remarkable innovations is his concept of Pani Panchaya, a farmer's self help group effective irrigation. He has also actively participated in combating the drought and famine affected districts in Odisha. He has also contributed towards his hometown, Jamshedpur, through a sprinkler watering system, all by using raw and waste water. He takes keen interest in golf and as a cricketer, represented Odisha and played for university. Thank you. I would like to call Vidisha Malik to introduce other judges. Good afternoon, everyone. I, Vidisha Malik, would like to introduce the second judge for the event. Radha Roy Biswas is a public policy researcher by training. After acquiring her master's degrees in economics development from the University of Manchester, she worked at think tanks in Boston, USA, and has a range of published academic reports to her account. She continues to consult in her field and also devotes some time for periodically conducting workshops for students and teachers. She has a keen interest in reading and writing and also writes poems on various topics. Lateral creative learning and sustainability are her current interests. Now I would like to call Akshat Tiwari to introduce the next judge. Good afternoon, one and all. I, Akshat Tiwari, would like to introduce the third judge for the event, Ms. Koral Ghosh. Ms. Koral Ghosh is a graduate from Wilson College, Mumbai, with a specialization in advertising. She worked as an entertainment news producer for Quint. She is also a director's assistant for several TV and web series, criminal justice being one of them. Her most recent project as an assistant director was Excel Entertainment's Sharma Ji Namkeen, scheduled to release in September this year. One of the short films directed by her has also won the Sundance First Time Filmmakers Award. She is famous for her phenomenal dance choreography and is currently working as the Chief Content Associate for Twill. India is the land of rich and dynamic cultural heritage ever since the beginning of human civilization. Every part of India is embellished with a myriad of religions practiced by the people and the peace and harmony they live in. Marriages, though arranged on earth, are decided in heaven. Marriage, a union of two people in a sacred bond that putatively lasts until death. The splendor of a marriage ceremony is unique to every religion and caste. The Inter-Religious Club of Carmel Junior College aims to show this diversity through a short research-based documentary. Therefore, presenting before you, feature it, which gives you the opportunity to explore the roots of the traditions and customs of marriages.
Wedding epitomize the essence of a culture, where traditions being followed since time immemorial inculcate a sense of connection to one's roots. India is a melting pot of traditions, most of which are remnants of thousands of years of old practices, one among which is the Indian Muslim wedding, symbolizing unity in diversity. The pre-wedding ceremonies begin with manja and mehendi, which are unique to Muslims in South Asia. Manja is equivalent to Hindu haldi ceremony. The time-honored religious traditions, Indian Muslim weddings signify the rich history of India. Nikah is the Arabic word for marriage and is the heart of Indian Muslim wedding. The ceremony demands the guests to sit in separate sections made for men and women. Before Arsi Mushaf, when the groom has the first glance of the bride, Meher, a symbolic presentation of gifts and money is given to the bride by the groom to honor and respect her, also to welcome her in the new family. Sabaka is the final part of the nikah where Ruksati, that is sending off the bride with her new family, is done. Islam views marriage as a strong bond, terming by Mukattam Khalizi, which means a challenging commitment to the dignified, meaningful survival of the human race. Weddings, the very sound of the word, gives us a feeling of joy. Wedding ceremonies differ throughout the world as every culture has its own tradition and customs. Likewise, Christian wedding in India is a blend of Indian and Western rituals. In an Indian Christian wedding, matchmaking is the first step towards the goal of marriage. Once a perfect match is found, the engagement ceremony marks the official announcement of forthcoming nuptials. Next comes the bridal shower, which literally means showering the bride with gifts. Oftentimes, this is mingled with Sangeet. The purpose is to take the groom's mind off that entire wedding halabulu and have fun with his friends before he is officially married. However, amusing it may sound, Mehendi too has become quite a common ritual in an Indian Christian wedding. The rose ceremony 
is performed few days before the wedding as an omen of ablution of couple souls before the marriage the absolute show stopper is the ritual where the father walks down the beautiful bride down the aisle and give her hands to the groom both the bride and groom hold their hand and read their vows the vows depict the promises made by the couples to love and have solicitude for one another once the vows are exchanged the priest asks the couple for their consent for the marriage in front of the witnesses that's when the couple says i do as the commitment of the holy matrimony the bride has a ritual of throwing the bouquet she has been holding back facing the crowd the person who catches the bouquet is believed to be married next the wedding ends with a grand reception a wedding cake is an absolute must in conclusion indian wedding is a grand occasion full of lavish and pop show marking the beginning of married life for newly weds amidst of all the fun food music dance and extravaganza thank you अगर फिरदौस बार रूह ये जमीन अस्त हमीन अस्त हमीन इफ देर इज हेवन ऑन द अर्थ इट इज दिस इट इज दिस आई टोटली एग्री विद एम्पर जहांगीर दट कश्मीर इज अ पैराडाइज सम नॉट्स आर मैन टू बी टाइड फॉर एवर हेयर बिगिन्स द स्मूथ and sweet journey towards eternity today ceremony the bride is made to wear a traditional headgear called the rabha and her hair are tied in braids krul karul is the decoration of the entrance of the houses of both bride and groom with traditional colors by the respective pomp or dua of the bride and groom after the decoration family members participate with singing and dancing on folk songs main rat ceremony the bride's feet are washed by the maternal aunt and mehndi is put on her hands and feet in the devka ceremony the groom and bride worship lord shiva and goddess parvati at their respective homes after the puja the bride is made to bathe with god and then she sits for havan puja during the havan the bride is gifted with gold and utensils in the posh puja the couple is covered with the pashmina shawl and lots of flowers the couple is worshiped as lord shiva and goddess parvati the moment when a father's soul is unbreakingly strong and heartbreakingly fragile at the same time is to say goodbye to his daughter but it's not goodbye it's hello to a new journey as their ordinary lives entwined in the magic of love the smiles were wider and the hearts enchanted ever after
Jewish wedding is a wedding ceremony that follows Jewish laws and traditions. Technically, the Jewish wedding process has two distinct stages, Kitzin, betrothal in Hebrew, and Nisan, marriage, when the couple start their life together. The first stage prohibits the women to all other men requiring to get a religious divorce to dissolve, and the final stage permits the couple to each other. The ceremony that accomplishes Nisan is known as Huppah. Signing of the Marriage Contract The groom agrees to be bound by the terms of Ketubah in presence of two witnesses. It is displayed in the couple's house. Covering of the Bride Pedikan, a traditional veiling ceremony, emphasizes that the groom is not solely interested in the bride's external beauty. Antifirus, ones who lead under. Bridal Canopy a traditional Jewish wedding takes place under a chuppah. It is open from all four sides. Circling. The bride walks around the groom three or seven times. This represents three virtues of marriage, righteousness, justice and loving kindness. Betrothal. Betrothal blessing is specified in the Talmud. Seven Blessings The seven blessings or Sheva Brekot are the heart of the Jewish wedding. After this, the groom drinks a cup of wine, breaking the glass. <laughs> Yehud Leaving the couple alone for 10 to 20 minutes after this wedding or seclusion in a private room to complete the wedding ceremony. Special Dances The guests dance in front of the seated couple and entertain them. Birkat Hamazan Jewish Prenuptial Agreements This prevent the husband from withholding a get from his wife. Timing Weddings should not be performed on Jewish holiday. Articles based on Jewish marriages Kambagani. This is Team Rush presenting the customs and rituals of Marwari wedding. Marriage is the beginning of family and it is also a lifelong commitment. Marwaris hail from the region of Jodhpur, Rajasthan. The weddings in Marwaris are very traditional when it comes to custom and rituals and so the wedding is done in a very ritualistic way. The Ganpati Sthapna both the families open the wedding ritual by putting the idol of Lord Ganesh on a sacred pedestal. Sagai, Roka or Muddha Tika It is performed a day before the wedding where both the families exchange gifts and sweets while the couple exchange their engagement rings. Haldi or Pithi Dastur Similar to a Haldi function, in turmeric, oil and water is applied both to the groom and the bride by a married woman on the morning of the wedding to bless the couple before the wedding. Barat Nikasi The groom gets off to the wedding with his Barat singing and dancing with his family and friends. Jaimala The bride is brought into the mandap. Then the bride and the groom exchange their garland. Pani Grihan Pani means hands and Grihan means acceptance. The bride's hand is placed over the groom's hand. This tradition represents the union of two souls. Bitai A bitter, sweet moment when the bride leaves for the groom's home, bidding farewell to a house and family. Gra Pravesh and Thal Uthan After the arrival of a husband's home, the bride is asked to pick up the thalis one by one, showing the beginning of a new relationship, Kambagani. Marriage 
marriage. What pops into your mind when you hear this word? Well, Google here tells us that marriage is the legally or formally recognized union of two people as partners in a personal relationship. Ah, uh, too formal, isn't it? Though the second definition here is marriage is a combination or mixture of elements. That's something we can talk about. Well, we all know about Christian, Muslim, Hindu or Sikh weddings. But today, let's dive in a little deeper. Deeper into the cultures of Assam. Along with the tea and silk of Assam, Assamese weddings are something to take interest in. Marked with soberness, Assamese weddings are attractive and beautiful in their own subtle manner. The wedding ceremony is known as Biya in the Assamese language. The key fashion element of an Assamese wedding is the sari and the mekla chadar. People from both the sides dress up in their finest traditional wedding attires, which adds to the traditional charm. On the other hand, the groom wears a traditional dhoti, kurta and chela, gifted mostly by the bride's family. And not to forget, to adorn the Assamese bride, gold jewellery is very important. But you know what's more important? The ceremonies that constitute the wedding rituals. First off is Juran Diya, where the groom's mother visits the bride's house and gives gifts to the bride and her family in Zorai. Tail Diya is the custom, where the mother of the groom puts a ring and beetle on the bride's hair partition and oils it thrice and puts Sindur culminating in, gifting the bride with her wedding trousseau. Collecting holy water for the bride by mothers of both the bride and groom is called Pani Tola. And the tradition of taking a ceremonial bath for both the bride and groom is what we call Nuan. The completion of free wedding rituals leads to a wedding reception for all guests where they are served with splendid food. The newlywed couple is then blessed by the present family members and friends. The wedding culminates into the couple being welcomed at the groom's house with a traditional aarti. And that was a little something about an Assamese wedding for you. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya! One of the world's major religions, Buddhism, was founded by Siddharth Gautam, later known as the Buddha, more than 2,500 years ago in India. With about 470 million followers, Buddhism has historically been practiced most prominently in East and Southeast Asia. Like the religion, Buddhist marriages are deeply spiritual affairs devoid of any extensive religious rituals or grandeur. One of the unique aspects of an Indian Buddhist wedding is the enduring presence of the idol of Lord Buddha and portrait of Dr. Bhaskar, who is considered to be the spiritual head of Indian Buddhists, as he was instrumental in helping Dalit communities embrace Buddhism. The very first step of a Buddhist marriage is the matchmaking process, where a suitable life partner is chosen by the parents of the bride or groom to be. Then comes the Kajang, which is a formal visit to the chosen girl's house by a friend of the groom's family, carrying a bottle of wine and an honorary white scarf named as Sakara. Once the girl's family acquiesces and accepts these gifts, then the process of Kika or horoscope matching is initiated and a marriage date is fixed. The next ceremony is the Chesian betrothal or formal engagement ceremony, where the bride's maternal uncle along with a monk is seated on a raised platform. The monk recites prayers and gives Madhyan as a holy drink to everybody. The marriage ceremony begins with the groom's family arriving in a procession carrying either six or nine trays containing food items and jewelry. One of the trays also contains a pair of candles which are lit to symbolize the unification of the two families. Both families then assemble in front of the decorated shrine of Lord Buddha and recite a series of hymns. Next. The couple recite the tradition vows from the Sigloveda Sutta. The monk then places sacred threads on the couple's heads and a red paste is applied on the foreheads of the bride and groom. The guests then conclude the marriage ceremony by reciting verses from Mangal Sutta and Shem and Lagata while offering their blessings to the newly wed couple. The celebrations continue with the feast, exchange of gifts, music and dance. The girl can then depart any day between the first day after marriage till the tenth day. And thus, a Buddhist marriage comes to an end, which is a unique combination of traditional rituals along with local customs, 
dictated by geography and culture. highest happiness on earth is the happiness of marriage a wedding is not just an occasion but a captivating momentous day when two loving souls unite gujarati weddings along with their flamboyant essence tuneful folk music oodles of rites and rituals and zestful wedding games captivates all who witness it and winsing acceptance in the ritual of chandu matli the bride's father along with four male family members visit the groom's place and apply tilak on the groom's forehead and gift him matli that means sweets The wedding date is decided and then comes court dhana the engagement ceremony of the gujaratis subsequently ganesh puja in event ways a mandapa is set and a puja for the planets grah shanti puja is performed to address the obstacles presented by planetary positions the beginning of the wedding day rituals is with var ghodo the groom and i sitting on a mat as others set off fireworks on the way The groom is welcomed by applying tilak on his forehead and pulling his nose in the ritual pongkvu. As the priest chants sacred verses, the groom's shawl and bride sari is knotted in hast milap. In the holy rite of Mangal Phere, the bride and groom take four pheras around the sacred fire signifying dharm, earth, kam and moksha. After this, the bride in the ritual satpadi is made to touch seven betel nuts placed in a straight line with her right toe. The groom puts sindoor on the bride's hair parting and ties mangal sutra around her neck concluding sindoor daan. The post wedding celebrations commence with chero pakadiyo a convivial ritual where the groom holds on to the sari of his mother in law asking for gifts a gaiti game aiki beki is played by the groom and bride in a tray filled with milk flower petals coins and a ring the one who finds the ring is believed to lead the relationship The heart rending rite with I betides as the bride leaves her home and family the bride is heartily welcomed to her new home signifying the start of a blissful and prosperous new phase of life with her husband Sikh wedding traditions are a strong reflection of Punjabi culture with rituals, songs, dances, food, lavish decoration and extravagant outfits that have evolved over centuries. The first event in predecession to the wedding is roka which marks the union of the bride and groom's family. It is followed by kurmai or engagement where the girl is draped in an ornate cloth which can be an heirloom. It is followed by haldi where everyone applies uptan and mustard oil to the faces of the couple which imparts a glamorous glow on their face. The last pre-wedding ritual is mehdi where the hands of the bride and her bridesmaids are beautifully adorned with henna. The mehdi for the bride is sent by her future mother-in-law. On the D-Day, rituals at the girl's home begin with the chuda ceremony where the oldest maternal uncle gives the bride a set of red bangles and gives his unfathomed wishes. After that, her bridesmaids tie kaliras to her bangles. The groom's ensemble includes a sehra tied on his head, shawl draped on his shoulders and a kripan or a sword in his hands which signifies that he will protect his family. Then a procession called barat leads where everyone dances on their way to the venue. The main Sikh wedding refers to as Anand Karaj that translates to the blissful union. It was introduced by Guru Amar Das ji and is based on the Anand Karya of Sanskrit. The families go to the Gurudwara to attend the Kirtan which are a set of holy songs. Lava are the four prayers that seal the marriage. The bride's pallu and the groom's shawl are tied together to symbolize the unison. They then take rounds of the Guru Granth Sahib, the holy book of the Sikhs, as the lava are chanted. The groom leads the round, holding the kripan. They are considered as married. This depicts that they not only accept 
each other as one soul and two bodies but regard guru as the center of their marriage the bride then sheds kaliras on her unmarried bridesmaids the bride then bids farewell to her family and leaves in a doli Malayali weddings are little different from weddings in other part of India be it in the terms of bridal look understated decor or time of nuptials here you are invited to experience the various elements of a hindu malayali wedding Every culture has its unique custom that makes it special in its own way. These are the rituals of Kerala Hindu wedding that make it simple affair and get so beautiful and elegant. Let's take a look at the various wedding rituals. Roka. The first function of every Punjabi Hindu wedding is roka, a Hindi word meaning stop. Sagai, the exchange of gifts continues during sagai, which involves both bride and the groom slip rings into each other's fingers to seal the union of the two individuals as well as their families. Mehndi, mehndi is one of the most essential and old Punjabi traditions followed. It is an herbal paste associated with positive spirits and good luck. The long day of mehndi is accompanied with sangeet. Chuda During the ceremony the maternal uncle and his wife gift a set of 21 bangles to the bride These bangles are special as they are firstly purified in a liquid mixture containing milk and rose petals Kalire During the ceremony the sisters and friends of the bride tie umbrella shaped figures called kalire to the chura of the bride These kalires are usually encrusted with betel nuts or dried fruits Haldi The women of the house then apply a mix of rose water, turmeric, sandalwood and mustard oil. Gargaroli. In the gargaroli ritual, the bride sibling or the sibling spouse who sits a nearby temple and fills a pitcher with holy water so that the bride can bathe in it before putting on her wedding attire. Sehra bandi. This ritual includes the garland being tied to the groom's turban by his sister-in-law. Oda chadai. The maid is fed with food to ward off evil eye and rites the groom for milni varmala the varmala ceremony includes the exchange of garlands by the bride and the groom it is made of fresh and pious flowers fere this is done seven times around the holy fire each round has a significant meaning and a different vow vidai this is the heart breaking part of the wedding ceremony as it is time for the bride to bid farewell to her family and her maika As a sign of gratitude, 
The bride then takes puffed rice in her hands and without turning back, throws them backwards in the direction of her family. The bride then leaves for the Mudikai Rasam, which is then followed by the modern extravagant party called reception. And so, they live together happily ever after. Presenting before you the Jain wedding, Kol Bharana and Tika. It is the inauguration of the Jain marriage ceremony. The groom's family gives a silver plate with the auspicious coconut and some cash as shagun, which is known as Kol Bharana. The tradition of the bride's family going to the groom's home with gifts is known to be the Tika ceremony. Lagn Lekhan. After a puja being conducted at the bride's place, the date and timing gets decided for the marriage. Lagna Patrika Vachan. A very unique ceremony in this community. A letter being formally drafted containing the mohurat of the wedding and the groom's family reads it out in front of close relatives after a small puja. Sagai. Mostly known to be the tilak, not by exchanging rings, but the bride's family visits the groom's family and gifts and sweets are exchanged along with the tilak ceremony of the groom. Mehendi. This is more of a homely affair, with the women coming together to apply mehendi on the hands of the bride and grab some on the groom as well. Bana Bitai. The bride and the groom gets a dab of chickpea paste of basin followed by a ritualistic bath. Marha Mandap. This sanctifies the mandap where the wedding is to take place. Ghur Chadhai. Ceremony where the groom initiates with the barat on the horse while the female of the house apply tilak on the forehead of the groom. Bharati, welcoming of the bride's family following with giving a gift to the bride by the bride's brother. Their traditional song is sung and the groom is welcomed by the females of the bride's side. Then we come to the emotional part that is of giving away the bride to the groom in an announcing manner. The groom takes the hands of the bride which comprises a rupee and a quarter along with some rice while the pundit chants the mantras. Swagraha Agman. After a tearful ending, it starts a good journey with the bride welcomed to her in-laws. A ritual is performed where the couple visits a Jain temple and distributes alms to the poor. Reception Held by the groom's family where relatives and friends bless the couple for a happy married life. The Jain community in India are the oldest followers of the Sramana traditions following the faith laid down by the 24 Tirthankaras. Blitz and greetings to all. Our school code is Genesis. The theme for us is Bengali wedding. Bengali weddings are mainly divided into a set of rituals, namely pre-wedding rituals, main wedding rituals, and post-wedding rituals. The first ritual is ritual Ashurba. This ritual is a kind of acceptance of this new relationship from both the sides. All each ceremony. Now comes the occasion, which is auspicious as well as a beauty treatment too. In this, seven or five married women grind the turmeric with mortal and pestle and make a paste to apply on groom's body and send the same paste for the bride to apply with a new sari and a gamcha. It makes the bride's skin glow. Satpa, the bride, usually seated on a low wooden stool called Piri is lifted by her brothers and is taken round the groom in seven complete circles. Shubhadrishti After Shodpa, the bride and the groom are made to look at each other and the bride is told to remove the palm leaves. Mala Bodol After completing the circles, the bride still sitting on the piri has to exchange the garland of fragrant flowers with her groom. Yogn the bride and the bridegroom are seated in front of the holy fire. They enchant mantras after the priest. Shoptupati The Shoptupati in Bengali wedding is quite different from what is popular fere in many other parts of India. There are seven betel leaves laid out in a sequence. The bride steps on these leaves one by one followed by the groom. Sidurdan or Ghumta Seated at their respective places near the holy fire, the groom applies sidur or vermilion, a 
a symbol of marriage worn by Hindu women thereafter on the bride's hair parting. Bidai, this is a farewell, mixed moment of joy and sorrow, as the bride has to bid adieu for the blessings of her parents and relatives to start a new life with her beauty. This is done when the bride reaches the groom's house. A dish is prepared full of alta and milk. The bride has to stand on it and then enters the house with the groom. Parsi in India are descended from Persian Zoroastrians who emigrated to India to avoid religious persecutions by Muslims. They chiefly live in Mumbai, Gujarat and Goa. Forever seems like a long time But nothing seems like a long time When I am with you I feel like I'm walking on water since the day that I asked your father to let go of his daughter So give me your blessing, sir I'll give her all that I've got It doesn't look like much But it sure feels like a lot Let her take my heart On behalf of Inter-Religious Club of Kamal Junior College, would like to propose the vote of thanks. First and foremost, I thank the Almighty God for all His graciousness. We specially thank our judges, Mr. Mansoor Ali, Ms. Koral Koch and Mrs. Radha Roy Biswas for taking the time to judge our event. We are grateful to the principals and teacher moderators of all the participating schools for guiding their students and bringing out the best in them. We thank all the participants whose enthusiasm and commendable effort made this program a grand success. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the manager of our school, Sister M. Priyal AC, our principal, Sister M. Natasha AC, and our vice principal, Sister M. Bala AC, for being a constant support throughout this event. I thank our respected teacher moderators, teacher Samita Khanna, teacher Paramjeet Kaur, and teacher Lena Paul, and all my fellow club members whose contribution had made this event a grand success. I owe a special gratitude to the non-teaching staff for helping us in making the necessary arrangements. Finally, I'll leave you with this inspirational quote by Theodore Roosevelt, Believe you can and you are half with it.